today I am going to solve question number 8 of exam style questions of chapter 1. In question number 8, you have been given a memory stick which is 64 gigabytes in size. Uh, and in part A, you have been given photographs which are uh, in kilobytes. So you need to convert these kilobytes to gigabytes in order to find out the number of images that can be stored on this one memory stick so first of all I have written that size of the memory stick is 64 gigabytes size of one photo is in gigabytes so in uh, um, as you know that one gigabyte is equal to 1024 bytes so I have multiplied the size of one photo with 1024 in order to convert the sizes of photos from kilobytes to bytes now i am i am converting bytes to gigabytes uh, you can see from this table that 1 gigabyte is equal to 10737481824 bytes so you, uh, in, uh, you, you so you will divide these bytes with this value to convert um, them into gigabytes uh, sorry gigabytes and so this is our answer in gigabytes. In question number 8 part B and it's part 1, you have been uh, asked to tell one way of reducing the size of file. One way of, one way of reducing the sizes of images is by reducing the resolution of these images and this can be done by using lossy compression. Uh, uh, then in part A 8, in part 2 you have been asked to tell two advantages of uh, reducing size of file. Uh, the first advantage is this that uploading and downloading of file will take lesser time and the second advantage of reducing the size of file is this that less memory will be occupied. We can also say that uh, the file will use lesser bandwidth. Uh, now you have been asked to tell the disadvantage in part 3 the disadvantage is one disadvantage is this that the quality of image will be reduced or compromised when unwanted uh, pixels will be when some pixels will be reduced from the image in 8c part 1 uh, you have been told to explain why three bytes of data are required by a bitmap image bitmap images are stored in RGB format each color occupies one byte red color also occupies uh, one byte green occupies one byte and blue occupies one byte so total three bytes will be occupied by every pixel of a bitmap image and now you have been asked to tell uh, to tell how many shades of red color are allowed in one pixel how many shades of green color are allowed and how many shades of uh, blue color are allowed in one pixel uh, the, the the number of shades of red color will be 2 raised to power 8 as red color occupies one byte so the total number of shades of red can be 256 the total number the total number of shades of green can be 256 and the number of shades of blue color will also be 256 so total shades is equal to 256 into 256 into 256 1677 216 colors can be um, formed by the combination of red green and blue colors